Today's funeral really showed just how big support for Grider and his family is today. WKYT's Phil Pendleton continues our team coverage with more on how people from all over came to pay their last respects. Many of the throngs of people who filed into Columbia Christian Church called it a tribute for a fallen hero. For us, that's a very important thing to do. This is dangerous work. There's no question about that. It is what it is. And when things happen, we come together to honor the life of this person. Two rooms in the church were filled to capacity. Hundreds, perhaps several thousand, heard a message they called a celebration of Grider's life. This was a guy that loved what he did, and what he did represented his concern for life, for the lives of his community, for the lives of his co-workers. But some who took part in today's activities never stepped inside the church for the service, but they still had a big show of support. Joe Hare was the lead for the Patriot Guard riders. He understands a little about loss. I guess one reason that it's really touching me, uh, I lost a son in 06, 31 years old. He knows Griner's father and says the number of riders today is just another way to show support when at a time like this, it's badly needed. More people the family can see, uh, the more flags they see out here, the people standing on the side of the road, the better it makes them feel. All a part of what they call the healing process. In Adair County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT.